Hey guys, it is Wednesday. And normally, people know that from time to time, I broadcast live on my, before my Tuesday, martial arts training here at Las Vegas Krav Maga, best fight academy in the country. Um, <laughs> shameless plug for the tribe. But hey, normally I do what I have been calling my Tune Up Tuesdays, which is where we spend just a couple of minutes and explore some ideas, concepts, perspective on things that you can do to tune yourself up. And um, with the changes in my personal schedule, and now for people that don't know, I spend half my time in Las Vegas, the other half in Seattle. Um, everything's being changed around in my personal support and my personal lifestyle stuff, right? So I think Wednesday is gonna be my one day of the week I train martial arts in the morning and go to work late and then wake late in the afternoon. I like breaking up my week like that. Uh, one is it gives the body a, a kind of a change in the routine instead of working out every morning in martial arts at night. That one little flip around. Plus the mornings make it way more probable that I can make it to class <laughs> because trying to come to class after work sometimes, we all know that work sometimes doesn't end. Not an excuse. I know I need to own my day, own my schedule, own my time. That's just the nature of my reality at the moment. So today what I do, I'm gonna take a little a moment and I think I might call my Wednesdays Warrior Wednesdays. And Warrior Wednesdays will be our little couple minute discussion in the ongoing battle for you to fight for who it is you are trying to become, what it is you're trying to do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So today in that vein, I'm going to talk about the life and death reality, the life and death reality we all deal with in the act of making decisions. Most people know and have talked about, learned about, read about how powerful it is and how necessary it is for you to be cognizant, aware, of the fact that it is our decisions that largely determine who we are, where we become, where we go. Another way to look at that is that there's a life and death moment that happens when you decide. When you decide to do something, you do it at the death in that moment of the alternative. So when you decide to sit down, you do that at the death of the alternative option of standing up in that moment. When you decide to take a left turn or a right turn, you do that at the death of the ability to do the opposite in that given moment. When you decide to eat that donut, you do that at the death of the opposite of what you could do in that moment. And the reason why I'm going to argue that that is important is because just as important as what you decide to do is what you decide not to do. What you decide is okay to kill off because that speaks largely to who you really believe you are. Who you believe you are speaks largely to who you really, what you really believe you deserve. I will always go back to philosophy, right? And we talk a lot about philosophy because it's your philosophy that determines what you accept your reality to be and what you only the reality you accept will be the one that persists, right? Because it needs your permission to persist. So um, realize that. Realize that in every decision you make, whether it's to do something or not to do something, you are creating an act of war. You are, you are giving something life and you are killing something else off in that moment. Don't let that um, what you killed go unnoticed. Don't let the statement of who it is you say you are in that moment, what it is you say you believe in in that moment, what it is you say you ultimately deserve to do, have, or become in that moment, be cognizant of it. Be aware of it. Know that what you are doing has consequences. Know that there are consequences in the death of what you are killing in the moment you decide to do anything it is you decide to do. It is an act of war. You are declaring war <laughs> in that moment. I know it sounds pretty harsh, but it is pretty harsh in some of the decisions we have to make in, um, given what's going on in the day. Hey, everybody, for tuning in. Lots of people tuning in. This is awesome, 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 awesome. I'm not going to spend long. I need to jump off and get into this class and get my mind right. Um, one thing I like about martial arts as a lifestyle is it forces you to be present. It forces you to be present. 
And a lot of us need that. A lot of us need something in our lives that unwraps us from the trappings of the other things that monopolize our thoughts and our, our consciences, our emotions, our, how we feel. You know, the good thing about martial arts, especially if it's reality based, is there's a consequence to not being present, right? You can get punched in the face. So um, I highly encourage you not to get punched in the face, but I highly encourage you to have something, some type of consistent outlet that engages you, that absorbs you, that pulls, that forces you to be present, whatever that is, that forces you to be present outside of the things that you have to do. The cool thing about it is you will get to the point where you feel you have to do those things and that's when your habits will really start to serve you. So I hope you got something from this little couple of minutes. I know that you will declare war more times today than you are aware of, but hopefully this little conversation will make you aware of some of those life and death moments that will happen today. And you, you know, if you were about to make a bad decision, maybe, maybe you won't. Or if you do, maybe you become aware of it and, and realize that, holy crap, I'm making, I'm, there are consequences to this donut. <laughs> Y'all know I like to make the physical references to working out and eating right, even though 